Hello friends, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. Today we have a very exciting last video on this kind of mini series that I did of uh, three different videos for fall lipsticks. And this is probably my most exciting one as Elisa Eldridge is one of my favorite brands of lipsticks. Pretty much top there with Charlotte Tilbury. I don't know which one is the best, but I love them nonetheless. So we have a lot of lipsticks to go through. This is also going to be the longest one of my kind of like selection. But before we get into it, please be sure to subscribe. It does mean the world to me and it helps my channel a lot. I moved you in a little bit closer so we can take a better look at the lips. The very first one is actually already on my lips, so I'm not going to be removing it. And that is going to be Velvet Sorcery. So this is, I think, one of the newest ones. Maybe it was released last year during, you know, the fall winter release. It is very stunning. I think it's the epitome of like a light everyday brown lipstick. At least on me, of course, it looks more on the brown side. Keep in mind, lipstick is a very personal item of makeup. So what looks a certain color on me might look pretty different on you or pretty similar depending on skin tone, lip color, you name it. It's pretty different for everyone. So this selection is pretty much what I think is favorite for me on my eyes for fall lipsticks. So anyway, that little disclaimer aside, We've got, of course, the very first one that I just showed you. I'm gonna go ahead and start swatching in the back of my hand. I'm not the best at swatching, like I've mentioned in every single video. So here we have Velvet Sorcery. And you can tell just immediately how different it looks on the back of my hand compared to on my lips. I feel like on my lips, it looks more like a true brown. And then when I swatch it, it looks more a little bit of a pinky tone. So here is the very first one on the list, Velvet Sorcery. Let's go ahead and swatch another one on the back of my hand. And this is going to be the only from the bunch that I have that it's a satin or the satin formula that Lisa calls for luxuriously lucent. So this is a beautiful shade called Spirited Away. It does have a more pink running through it, but as a whole, to me, it's a more darker, mobby shade. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch it next to um, next to Sorcery. So here you can see that it's definitely more on the pink side, but on my lips it looks more mobby. So here is Spirited Away and then here is Sorcery. And just to show you kind of like what it looks like next to Sorcery on my lips. And here is um, Spirited Away. Up next, we have the lightest of the bunch, and this is going to be Velvet Affair. This is also on the more brownish side, but lighter than uh, Sorcery, which is on my lips. So let me go ahead and swatch it next to Sorcery. So you can see how this one almost looks like a, like a rusty brown. So let me show you real quick. So we've got Spirited Away, then we've got Sorcery next to it, and then here, the latest one, this is Velvet Affair. I feel like if you are lighter than my complexion, this would show up as a much darker lip, but uh, kind of like with that brown running through it, very, very stunning. I went on and removed a Sorcery from my lips, so the next one is going to be the second that I swatch. So let's go ahead and move on with Muse. And I think this would be like the last one that I would consider kind of like mauve brownish shade from this bunch. And then we're going to dive into the more reddish tones. So Muse, uh, I think this is one, uh, an older one from the collection. Let's go ahead and swatch it on the lips. It's a little bit darker than the ones I had before. So nothing on my lips. So pretty on the brown side. Here we have Muse on the lips. I feel like this has a tiny bit of red peeking through, but really on my lips, it transforms more of a, on a more of a brown lip. I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you side by side with Sorcery. 
So you can see how it still has that brown in it and it's very clear on my lips, but a bit more of a reddish undertone to it. So here is Sorcery. As you can tell, it's like it almost looks like a straight up brown compared to Muse, but Muse also pretty much on the brown end. So very beautiful, pretty different once you have them next to each other. And here is on the lips. I almost forgot, but let's go ahead and swatch it on the back of my hand. And actually swatched, it looks more on the pinkish side. So let me go ahead and, and show you. So here is Muse. So we've got from the very front, we've got um, Spirited Away, Sorcery, Affair, and then Muse. Somehow Muse looks lighter than Affair on the swatch, but um, pretty different. But at the same time, I feel like all of these are in the mauve brown category. So now let's move on with what I would think the last one, actually, that's a bit more purpley mauve. I said those were the only four, but I think this also would fall into the category of darker mauve. And this is Velvet Blush. Very pretty color. I hope you can see that it looks a bit more on the purpley mauve shade. This is one that she released, and then after this one, she released uh, the blush, blush lightly. So a bit of a lighter shade than this one, and I also do own that one. But that one is a little light, that it's more of like a pink, so I didn't consider it for the fall video. So let me go ahead and swatch in the back of my hand. Here we're kind of like starting to dive more in the vampy shades. So here is Velvet Blush. It's going to be the very last one. So as you can see, it's still that, you know, mauve almost purpley tone. So pretty in line with all of these lipsticks, but on the darker shade. And here it is next to Muse on the lips. This next lipstick is probably one of those that whenever you're thinking about the very stereotypical fall, like leaves changing, dark, rusty orange shades. This is what I would think of, and that is Velvet Dragon. Such a stunning, very unique shade. So it looks pretty bright, I feel like, on, you know, on camera. I mean, compared to my nails, not really. But it looks more on the brighter, almost red. But this transforms to the most stunning, orangey, almost rusty red on the lips. I have to try on Dragon for you because it is pretty stunning. First, let me go ahead and swatch it. I'm going to start on the bottom row. You can see how this definitely has that orangey, almost like rusty shade. So here is Dragon. And then we've got um, Spirited Away. We've got uh, Sorcery, Affair, Muse, and uh, Blush. And here is Velvet Dragon. Let me go ahead and swatch on the lips. This is one of my favorites from the entire Lisa Eldridge uh, line. Look at how pretty. So, so stunning. My lips are starting to complain, so I might not be able to, to swatch many more. I think I'm just gonna do one more and that'll be everything. So here is a Velvet Dragon on the lips. Such a unique, very stunning, stunning shade. I really love it. And if I'm thinking about like just your very stereotypical fall lip, I would go for Dragon. I'm gonna have to stop swatching on my lips, but we're gonna leave with a bang. And I know I just said how Dragon is one that's very unique. This next shade is so unique in my eyes and it is the most stunning rusty red like dragon is definitely more like rusty orange and then you have cinnabar which is a very almost earthy earthy like you would find on like the world like on real life like i feel like this color is very earthy like almost like a dirt kind of shade so pretty and again this is cinnabar i don't know if i mentioned it so let me compare it uh, next to a dragon so you can see how different the shades are but how both are very special and very unique this more on the orangey rusty and this more on the red 
rusty, almost a little bit of brown picking through. Very stunning. And this is the one that I want to finish up the video um, on my lips. Not the video, just the swatching on my lips because I have uh, three more that I want to mention. So let's go ahead and swatch Cinnabar on the lips. I really cannot make up my mind as to which one between Dragon and Cinnabar is my favorite. But this is such a unique, special shade. Oof, I don't know. It might be this one. But here is Cinnabar and the lips. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it in the back of my hand next to Dragon. Such unique shades, honestly, both of them. I am obsessed with these two shades. Lisa Eldridge just makes the best lipsticks. So here we've got Dragon and then next to it, Cinnabar. I have three more lipsticks, but these are just going to be swatched in my hand. The next one is going to be Myth. This one actually broke, so I'm going to be very careful. This I would also consider a red lip, but a more kind of like almost purpley red. Very bumpy. I'm going to show you, but I don't want to like take out too much because it is broke, so I want to be very careful with it. And let me go ahead and swatch it in the back of my hand right next to Cinnabar. So you can see very clear on the swatch that this is definitely more of a purpley red. Very bumpy, very stunning. So we've got uh, Dragon, Cinnabar, and uh, I forgot the name, and Myth. So perfect for those days that you want to go for a very natural, very easy makeup and then just have a lot of impact on the lips. Myth is one to go for that. If you hear any kitties in the back, that's Remus crying because he wants to leave the bedroom. But anyway, I'll, I'll get to him in a second. Let's uh, wrap up the red ones with a classic. And I say classic because this next one, which is Jazz, is the one that started, <clears throat> one of the three that started Lisa's brand. She released three lipsticks as her first initial line of her makeup and lipsticks that True Velvet started with. Velvet Morning, Velvet uh, Ribbon, and Velvet Jazz. So this is the more vampy out of the three. A very classy red. Let me go ahead and swatch it in the back of my hand. Also very vampy, but such a stunner lipstick. So next to Muse, it almost looks a bit lighter, I feel. But of course, this is going to be darker. And in my eyes, this is more of like a true red. And Muse is more of like a purpley red. So here is, I keep calling it Muse, it's Myth. So here is Myth and here is Velvet Jazz. And to wrap up this video, we have one that unfortunately I don't use as much just because it's a little too dark for me. I like it in like very special occasions, but it is one that I don't barely ever use and that is Velvet Midnight. All of these lipsticks, by the way, I forgot to mention, are still available on the Lisa Eldridge website. I did have a couple of more that I wanted to talk about, but they were not available anymore. So anyway, this is going to be your darkest of darkest, almost purpley red. Very, very bumpy. So if you are darker than my skin tone, I think you would really love this lipstick. So last one to swatch in the back of my hand. You're gonna see what I'm talking about of that purple uh, tone to this lipstick. You can see very clearly the purple on Midnight. Here's all of them. As you can tell, none of them are the same. A couple might look similar, but you cannot go wrong with all of these lipsticks that I just mentioned. I am really in love with the formula. I think I've talked about Lisa Eldridge a lot here in my channel. I do have a ton of videos talking about her lipsticks and a few of her other products. I'm actually gonna be leaving uh, all of those videos linked below if you're curious to watch any of those. And if you have any questions, of course, let me know. So let me know if you own any of these lipsticks or if you're trying to add any of this for your uh, kind of like autumn fall lineup. Let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.